Good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing today? I was having a busy day. Okay, tomorrow gonna be busier. <laughs> okay, anyway, this module we are gonna talk about the HTTP call module in Node.js. And uh, this is a module which used to create a server, web server. Okay, and then you can uh, deploy somewhere, listening for the user's even uh, request and respond. You can provide your web service, no matter it's a REST or just a, or a normal website. And uh, for for me, I have uh, I was I'm a Java Java background. Okay, um, compared what we're gonna write and with the web application I did before. This is much, much easier because when we using Java to create web application, suppose we are just using GSP servlets, which is the fundamental, right? We have to uh, install JDK. We have to pick the server, web container, uh, like Tomcat, Glassfish, Web Sphere, those, and we have to code. After code, we have to wrap as a WAR file. Then we have to deploy on the server. So, so many steps. And with Node.js, I'm gonna show you now, it's much, much, much easier. I think that's one of the reason Node is so popular, okay? Uh, because it's easier. We like an easier thing. So how to do that? We have uh, two, uh, several ways. Like this way I'm showing now is listening for the request event. And next video, I'm gonna show you a shorthand. And after we learn Express, it's gonna Express gonna also has a wrapper API help you to create a server, okay? So let's take a look at the first example. And in order to create, we have to have HTTP module being used. And from there, we can get a server. Oh, sorry, sorry, we can HTTP dot create a server, okay? And then how to handle the request? We have to listen for the request event. This event. So once a request comes, then it will call our callback. The first, the in the callback, the first one is request. So from request, let on we will learn like uh, you can get the URL. You can get from URL. You can get a query string, the path, the host name, the port number, and the content type, uh, accept header, all the things. Okay like a re response, which is what you want to give back to the client, which is browser. Then you put it in, in the response. Next one is a listen. Okay, a server dot listen. And uh, most likely we will listen for the, uh, what's the? Uh, for 3000 you can give any important number and here have a callback if you want you can give like uh, you can have uh, some log like uh, 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 Server is running on Plus port number 3000 okay Like this and now here we just do something which is a print, uh, give something back to the server, which is hello from Tina. Okay, so now we are done. How to run as usual using node app.js. You, what happened? Oh, oh, here, I have to call this one. I didn't call, I have to call. Otherwise it's gonna be the function, okay? Now you can see server is running on 3000. And now if I open a file and then type localhost, oh, sorry. 
type localhost 3000, you should expect hello from Tina. See, okay? So let's go through a little bit. I want to introduce the other two methods. Dot write. So what's the difference between write and end? Write, it means you keep uh, adding things in the response so they are be available in the client to render. So here, for write method, you can call multiple times. This is a, a, a node just tutorial, okay? And we can you can keep adding. Let's using the next line. I think prop if I remember correctly. And uh, please support, please uh, support. Okay. And uh, then I have uh, uh, write another one. Response start write. Thank you. Okay. A lot of thank you, that means, okay, exclamation, see how many. That means I really appreciate you watch my video. <laughs> so write can call multiple times, but when we're using end, end can only be called once. But it won't throw error. So this is uh, when we call end twice, it will only show, it will only stop here because end means I'm finished. This response, I finish everything, okay? And uh, this request, the response, the connection is finished. So this twice won't be seen on the, in the browser. Talk about twice. You know, I like K-pop, which is a Korean pop star, okay? And my favorite girl group is called twice. They are from JYP, okay. Anyway, so let's restart again. Okay, it's restarted. And now we, let's run one more time. And you can see this is a tutorial, please support. Thank you, hello from Tina. You didn't see twice because end means I'm finished, okay. Uh, next one is the response. You can take a look at the APIs. It has a lot of things. You can write uh, head, okay, let, okay, and here the first one you can give a status code, uh, but uh, two hundred means okay, which means the res connection uh, between request and response is successfully, okay, and you can give some other header information like a content type. My content type is um, what? Uh, this one is a text plan. Okay, it's not HTML. And you can give others, okay. So it's normally if we directly send the application we are using implicit, okay, like it's the text plan is 200. And if it's successful, definitely we'll give 200, okay. So for doing that, we have to reopen. Reopen. And now, uh, oh, sorry, restart. And when we go here, Nothing will change because this header, response header is used by the browser to, de to determine what kind of uh, uh, information you are sending to me or how long, the inf how long the response and then the browser will be ready and be prepared and ready to render your information. So uh, don't worry, we will learn more and more about uh, the server and uh, thank you for watching this video. Next video gonna be the shorthand to create a web server using Node. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.